to the Fish and Corn Show, and this is the Strip Club episodes. But <laughs> when we're in, uh, when I was in school in Santa Barbara, <clears throat> the the Christian guy and this guy from uh, he was this our hippie friend. Uh huh. They would go to the the Spearmint Rhino, mm -hmm. and they would pay for dances, and you know that whole lap dance, the thing. whole forty bucks of pop kind of thing. Yeah. They, this guy had money, believe mm -hmm. it or not. This guy, because he was from Michigan, his dad was in the banking, so, but trust fund baby. Yeah, he was adopted, but he got to spend money. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But uh, dude, this guy would just spend. Oh, he wouldn't sit. I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna here for lap dances. Yeah, it's like, are you creaming yourself down there? Because you're supposed to get off. I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap. I never had one. The or even my he even what's his name the Christian guy would have like two two a night. No, and spend his last money. I'm kind not. Of thing. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna get a dollar from me, and in exchange for that dollar, I get to grab your butt, or maybe grab your boob. Scenario was cheap too for some other reason. He thought it was fake. It's like kind of like. Well, of course it's is, fake. Yeah, this is and that's what we were always wondering. We told the hippie guy, "Why, well, dude? It's all fake." Of course it's fake. <laughs> I mean, you're paying for a performance, right? I mean, that's what you're there for. Yeah, I remember speaking of uh, Santa Barbara when breakfast before breakfast would come up there. Oh, <laughs> he did ghetto there. He was better at picking up action in bars than I was. Oh yeah, but it's still disgusting. Yeah, it was disgusting, some of these people. <laughs> where he thought he had AIDS for like six months. <laughs> uh, Get those AIDS infested <laughs> undies out of my wastebasket. Oh, where do you want me to put them? Dude, take it out of here. Put it in the dumpster outside. You think she had AIDS? I don't know. That's what it was. Uh, I don't know. Come on now. I said, Dude, I don't know. You know what I mean? Gross. You at least this is the one. You at least wore a condom. No, no. I didn't have one. <laughs> <sighs> he barebacked her. Of course he barebacked her. He's a fucking filthy pig, dude. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's nasty. I don't know, dude. Ski Raw dog and skeevy strangers that you pick up in bars. No. Is just, uh, no, not my kind of deal, dude. <laughs> not that I'm saying. I mean, I'm not to judge anybody. I'm kind of fucked up myself, but. <laughs> that was intense when I saw that, when I heard that. <laughs> and Christian boy, yeah, man, that's crazy. Oh, come on, guys. He's saying, you know how he's yeah. just like, I don't know what to say. He gets all dude. nervous about it. It's like, yeah, what do you, you want me to say about it? It's like, you, you can't retract it, bro. You know how <laughs> you'd have that logic where it's like, let's try to talk our way out, or, you know, yeah. where it's all fine. I, I, I can rationalize this. I can I can make myself feel good, to, good about what we did, right? No, right? He, that one he couldn't escape. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's, yeah, I think about that, it's scary. He's old school. Yeah, <laughs> really old school. But dude, that's crazy. Um, he's actually getting a, a divorce. Finally. Because I guess her and the mother are going to move to Tucson. Good for her. Oh my goodness. Uh, I just hope he, he you know, cuts ties completely and finds another chick soon. Which he will because daddy Which does will. the same shit. Ooh, how long do you think it'll be? This market here, this is a time stamp. How long before he hooks up with another chick? And he'll be, like, will he be the first one and he'll have a relationship or okay, will he date well, it around? Which is, which how is, long did he know this one before he got married? Uh, like, what, three months? Something like, yeah. How long did he know her before he had her, her name tattooed on him? Like a week? Wow, that's right. Eh? Oh, we, have to, we, have to, we can't let that guy leave that down. <laughs> when you see him next I know I'm gonna, th There will be no end of shit for that one Okay We should convince him to get it copied over You mean get it uh, touched up And we can talk about up? it on the show Yeah Like dude you should change this Go now I think we should talk him into that I think he needs that Yeah To be honest To clear all the kind of You gotta get good Purge Yeah purge And you know You know what to tell be honest It's a good thing For friends to do Because you know what You only have one life did you right? Just purge. Yeah, you should purge that shit. He doesn't need that. But yeah, uh, I don't know, dude. I, I, I give it maybe 
three months before he actually meets somebody. Because you know him. Uh-huh. And about a year before he gets married again. Do you think this one will be the lifer one? <sighs> Depends. Thing is, he likes to be bull ragged by women. In case you haven't noticed, there's no, a, yeah, there's there's a, a trend. pattern there. Mm-hmm. There's a very clear pattern. So he likes, he likes to be a submissive. I think he's looking uh, as this is an. I think he's actually happy. No, I don't think he's happy. I don't think anybody's really happy. Yeah, that's true because it's like, dude, what had just transpired? You, you just wasted what the last twenty years of your life. Yeah, because he was with that chick a long ass time, dude. Yeah. He was with her a long time. That is crazy. And I don't think many of those years were any good. Because she stopped working. As a monetary thing, that chick started spending his money really quickly. How do you make the kind of money he's making and still not have cash on hand to pay for your drinks? You gotta be some unfortunate schmuck. Yeah. I mean, it's like the guy was making fucking six figures on a regular basis, and he's hitting us up for money when we went drinking that one time. And you lose your house. Yeah, and you lose your house. That that happens because your crazy-ass wife is having you buy a new car every fucking six months, and you spend on whatever trend she she decides is the new it thing to do. And, you know, you just pay along because you, you like being dominated by... The woman in your life. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I mean, I, 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 there's a role for dominant women. I, I like to be dominated by women occasionally. You know, Klingon sex is fun. But, you know, it can't be a lifestyle. And that was the good thing about that uh, one woman the fish dated before, that one that I uh, uh-huh. was with for a while. I have to say the sex was good. Yeah. And she was hungry for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that can be fun, but at the same time, that shit comes with a whole slew of different uh, for problems. The, for the fish, it was because she was married. Because <laughs> she was married. <laughs> and I was getting videotaped. Not like this. Yeah. I was on, I was on someone else's <laughs> sidewalk. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. How did I mean, you find that out, anyway? Because uh, she told me, remember? Uh, he he knows us. He knows about us. <laughs> he knows about us. Remember, I say, well, good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. We can move on with this. Remember, because I actually was kind of fantasizing about that <laughs> uppity woman. Uh, he knows about us. <clears throat> that was crazy. That was it crazy? Well, you know, it was kind of like drama. Fun. Yeah, I had fun. But you've always been attracted to crazy chicks. You know, Fish woman is probably the most rational chick you've had around for a long time. Well, yeah, I think the sort of type of woman that was, the drama was kind of shitty. Uh-huh. But I guess, you know, being a horny guy. Oh, what's funny, uh, Corn, is that I, you know, because I did the computer thing. Uh-huh. I saw a woman with the fish woman that I had went on, on a date with um, from the internet as well at uh, Home Depot. By Sports Arena, it was totally her because she was into a certain type of activity. I drove around just to make sure, like her car, because I knew she's the type to do it. And then on the frame, it said what activity she did. I said that was her. <laughs> I went two two dates with her. Two dates, huh? Mm-hmm. White woman. White woman. Yeah, I don't know about dating now. So if you happen to if, start again, if my wife were to leave me or die on me. Uh, I don't know, dude. I think I'd be stroking off a lot and just, you know... Projects? Projects. Weekend projects? Uh, I'm definitely not interested in the drama or a relationship or any of that stuff, because, I mean... You got the golf course newspaper underneath the arm? <laughs> Basically. Wait to win a fuck? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I, I'm not into, you know, that whole... Emo- Let's make that emotional connection for that'll last us until the next life kind of thing. It's all horseshit, dude. We're you all ever seen die that anyway. Spiegel movie? Have you ever seen that movie? It was written by him. I read the novella. It was uh, Steve Martin's movie with Claire Danes called Shop Girl. 
you should watch is independent. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they're both kind of, it was side projects filmed for the both of them. And it had also that guy who's related to Coppola. The, he's in a lot of Wes Anderson movies. <clears throat> he's in um, Rushmore, I think, it, or what's the guy's name? I can't even remember. Schwartz. Yes, yes, Schwartzman. He's in it, and it talks about um, Steve Martin's character was this rich guy, mm-hmm. lived up in the hills, and it looked over uh, the Saxon Avenue that I think actually is there on Sunset, and she lived in, down the hill kind so of thing. So hence the shop girl. Yes, and she, he met her in uh, the, the glove department, and she was struggling with getting to college, and at the end of the movie... So he ends up he, being his sugar daddy, or what? Yeah, and she wants to get close, but he's kind of like the corn in the future ah, your project I'll dedicate you for a while but remember I'm not in this if you kind of like basically if you find something better hey man have at it <laughs> she yeah. made it emotional and he kind of was at the end of the movie he's kind of you know maybe I missed out but who cares because he's with another hot chick because they uh-huh. see her at a they see in public you know they bump into each other but uh, she made it the emotional thing that kind of like the movie because uh-huh. it was from her eyes and stuff uh-huh. Well, so the, I mean, look, I can see why people get emotional about it, and frankly, I was emotional about it when I was younger. But, but now, I'm old yeah, now, and now, yeah, I, that's a, I've I think had it, my kids. I've yeah, I've you had done all that. I I think I would be I'm kind of over it. You know? Like, yeah, in the future, if I was like that six year old man, it'd be like maybe. If someone young, I don't know about this whole like those old guys that do marry a young girl and they have this other family. Like Jesus Christ, I'm only I'm sixty five. I'm gonna have a kid. Are you insane? <laughs> People do it. That's crazy, dude. <clears throat> so no. the, the Steve Martin one is more like, oh, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but yeah. you'll get over it. Right, yeah, I know. It's kind of nice. Then you kind of chuckle, yeah, that was kind of nice that I got the, <laughs> like you said, the emotional it's a, headspace. It's a collection of experiences. That's all it is, dude. That's all your mm-hmm. life is, is a collection of experiences. So I could see myself being the one with the projects. Like, you bump into someone, hey, let's hang out. I mean... You can have a lifelong project. Yeah, it There's comes and goes. They knock on your door every, like, dude, it's 10 like, years. Like every 10, oh my God, you're still hot because she's like, you got her when she's like 22, 23. Quit fantasizing. <laughs> Sick old fuck. No, I'm just saying that if you had that idea, like, you, sometimes you fantasize about winning the lottery. Winning the lottery. Now, winning you know, the lottery we, for me would be uh, <laughs> seeing my healthy grandchildren graduate from college I guess in the life lottery why yeah. you think you'll expire I don't think I'll I'll live long enough to see grandchildren let get alone through grandchildren college. get through college because well look look at the look at how old I was when, when I had when kids. I finally had kids mm-hmm. if my kids follow that pattern career I'll be fucking 70 years old by the time they have kids and you won't see them graduate. <laughs> I'm not gonna see kids, grandkids graduate. I'm not gonna live to ninety five. So winning the lottery would see. Yeah, the, it's the impossible. Right. I mean, it'd be nice, but we're at thirteen and a half. We gotta come back. 